Hi, my name is Mary Beth Lee, and I'm an Intel analyst at the Vertex Project. In this video, we're going to go over a couple different ways that you can add data to Synapse. There are a lot of different ways uh, to add data. In this, we're going to just scope it down to um, a few instances in which you might have some uh, tactical indicators, or you might want to create a one-off node through the add node dialog, or um, upload a file through uh, the upload file option. Um, I'm going to include in the description for this video links to the other resources uh, for if you want to do bulk ingest or regular ingest, uh, things like that, um, or if you want to use the Spotlight tool. Uh, those are all, all other, other methods of adding data that we talk about elsewhere. So for this video, we'll just scope it down to um, a few one-off instances. Uh, the first one that we're going to look at is using the auto add and lookup modes. So these are uh, modes that you can find in your storm query bar. They're great if you have a handful of tactical indicators, um, things like uh, FQDNs, hashes, um, that's MD5, SHA-1, and SHA-256 hashes, um, IPv4 addresses, uh, URLs, emails. Um, when you add them through either the auto add or the lookup mode, Synapse will uh, deconflict them with existing nodes. If that node already exists, it won't uh, re-add it. Um, it's easy for Synapse to do because those are primary properties. It'll also uh, get rid of any defanging that might be there. So if it was uh, like a FQDN that was defanged with brackets, Synapse will go ahead and remove those for you um, for creating the node. So the first one that we'll do is uh, just auto add mode. And uh, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and fork a view. So auto add. Um, so right now I'm in my auto add uh, forked view. Um, and in the research tool, I'm going to go over to my storm query bar. And I'm actually going to switch it from storm mode down to auto add mode. Um, and so for the example, I'm going to pull up a, a proof point blog. Um, there's a section here in kind of the middle of this blog where they uh, note some indicators they have. They have this email address, uh, samantha.wolf0077 uh, at gmail.com. And you can see that they have some defanging there. Um, they have a SHA-256 hash that they have there that they note as well. Um, they have an FQDN, this office updates.info, which is also has some defanging with the brackets. Um, so I'm going to go and pull this into uh, my Synapse instance. I'm just going to grab from here up. I'm just going to copy this and go back over to Synapse. And I'm just going to go and paste this into my uh, storm query bar in auto add mode. I'm just hit enter. And what auto add mode does is it, if none of these exist, it's going to just create them for me. I can see that it made uh, 15 edits on four nodes. And I can see what it pulled out here. So it recognized the email. It went ahead and uh, got rid of those brackets that were defining it for me. It recognized the SHA-256 hash and created a SHA, uh, sorry, created the hash SHA-256 node. And it also recognized the FQDN and it got rid of those, um, those brackets that were uh, defanging it. Uh, so that was, those were the only things that it recognized uh, from the text that I pasted in and note that it did not, uh, it did not touch any of the other text that was in this paragraph. It just pulled those out and it created these for me. Um, so that's auto add mode. Uh, from here, if I, I can review this, if I'm happy with it, if I want to go ahead and add some tags or, um, you know, I can do MB check or I can do rep proof point. I think they attribute this to what TA453. Uh, um, I can go ahead and add that tag. Um, and then if I decide that I want to go and merge this down into my production, then I can go ahead and just merge this. So this is auto add mode. Um, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, delete this view and we'll create another for lookup mode. Um, I'll just clear this and we'll go create another a forked view for lookup. Um, so here we are in our forked view. Uh, so the second way that I'm going to show you how to add uh, some tactical indicators through the storm query bar is using lookup mode. So we'll switch from auto add down to lookup. Um, and for this, we're going to use just the same example. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that text back in and hit enter. Now you'll notice that uh, lookup mode didn't find any existing uh, nodes for the indicators that I pasted in. Um, but it did suggest that I create three. If I hit that again, it'll show up again. 
Um, so it suggests that I create three nodes. I can click on that review suggested nodes and uh, see what it's suggesting for me. So here I have the three suggested nodes. Um, it looks like they found the email address and they said, do you want me to create this as an INET email form? Um, they found the SHA-256 hash and they suggest creating it as a hash SHA-256 node. Um, and then they also identified the FQDN. Um, and each of these they went through and they defanged for me. Uh, if there's anything that I want to change or maybe I maybe this is not an FQDN, maybe it's a um, it's a file name or something and I don't want this to be added, I can go ahead and remove it. Um, you can just go and remove there. It will remove it for me. Um, you can go and hit enter again to add that back. Um, otherwise, if I decide that these look good, I can go ahead and create them and look up, we'll go ahead and create those nodes for me. I can see I have the INET email address. Um, they remove the brackets, the SHA-256 hash, and the FQDN. They again remove the brackets. Um, like auto add mode, it ignored that extraneous text that was in here, and it just created the uh, the indicate the nodes for the indicators that it recognized. Uh, so from here, if I want to go and apply some tags, I can go ahead and do that, uh, similar to auto add mode. Um, and then if I'm happy with the, the data that I have, I can go ahead and I can merge this down into my production view. So those are auto add and then lookup mode. Um, they're pretty similar. The big difference is that um, lookup mode is going to uh, check first and then give you suggestions of what it thinks uh, you want to model, whereas auto add is just going to make its best guess and go for it. Um, I often work in lookup mode just because I like having that little preview beforehand and the ability to remove anything that I, if it's not, if that's not the way I want to model it or if it's not something I want to include. Both auto add and lookup mode will uh, deconflict with what's currently in the cortex. Um, they won't create duplicate nodes for you. Um, they'll ignore extraneous text. They'll remove any sort of defanging that might be there. Um, in this case, the brackets. Um, However, there are a few limitations with these. The first is that if you have a lot of data, in this case, I just have a handful, um, there are better ways to, to import that data into Synapse. Um, the second is that auto add and lookup mode are only going to do a few kind of uh, common tactical indicators for you. Um, so again, these are FQDNs, these are MD5, SHA-1, SHA-256 hashes, um, IPv4 addresses, URLs, and email addresses. Um, anything else, whether it's a, a file name, a file path, a registry key, um, a mutex, an organization name, um, a name of a person, those are not things that you can create through auto add or lookup mode. Um, so those are things that you would use another method to create. Um, so with that, I'm going to clear my uh, clear my view, get rid of my uh, fork view, and we'll talk about um, using the add node dialog. So for this, I'm just gonna create another um, another forked view. So I'm in my fork view. Um, so the add node dialog box or input form is something that you can access through the query bar menu over to the side here with those three little dots. We can just click on that and we can go down to add node. Um, it will support autocomplete. So you can start searching for the form that you wanna create. Um, the add node dialog allows you to create any node within Synapse. So you have access to the full data model in here. The add node dialog or input form allows you to create any object within Synapse. You have access to the full data model within here. So you can start uh, typing out the form that you want. It supports autocomplete, so it will uh, help you find what you're looking for. Um, it's great for anything where you don't, if it's, uh, where it's maybe more complex or maybe more abstract, or it just isn't one of those uh, few tactical indicators that um, lookup or auto add mode supports. So for this example, we'll say that I want to create a PS contact node to capture uh, the name Samantha Wolf in my example and link that to the email, the Samantha Wolf uh, 0077 at gmail.com. That's not something that I'm able to create through either auto add or the lookup mode. So I'm gonna use the add node input form to do it. So I'm going to start typing PS contact. It finds the form for me. 
And then it shows me, it guides me through creating it. It shows me the different um, properties that are available. I don't have to fill them all out. Uh, importantly, it has this gray line here with the value. Uh, this lets me know this is the one thing that I do have to create. Um, value, or in this case, PS contact is a GUID form, um, and the value is just the GUID. Um, here, I'm just going to put an asterisk, so it will generate a random GUID for me. Um, so that's the one thing that I have to be able to enter to create this uh, PS contact node. Um, but from here, I can go and see if there's anything else I can fill in. A lot of this I don't have information for, and that's fine. Uh, because it's a good form, it allows me uh, that flexibility to just be able to capture what I do know, um, like the email address, which I can just go copy and paste. Um, so Samantha Wolf, I'm going to copy that in there. Um, no, I did remove the brackets here. Uh, so I went ahead and, and fanged that. Um, then I also have the name. I can go down here to the name property. And we're going to fill that in as well. We'll just copy and paste so I don't have to type. Uh, so now I can go ahead and I can create the node. Just click the add node there. Um, and it added the node for me. Um, I can see it here. Here's my PS contact with that GUI that Synapse randomly created for me since I used the asterisk. And I can see the, the two properties here that I populated, the Samantha Wolf name and then the email address. So that was a way I could use that add node dialog or input form to create a PS contact node. Um, and from here, I can go ahead and I can add tags. Um, this is something that uh, Proofpoint reported as a TA-453. So I can go ahead and add that tag there. And then if I'm happy with this data, I can go ahead and I can merge this down. Since this is a PS contact node, at the time I only had the name and the email, but if there's any other properties that later I end up having more information about or um, later I can fill out, I can always go over to on the detail panel to the all props here, and I can um, select some more properties to fill in. So let's say that I decide later on that I want to include a description. I can go ahead and I can select that here um, so that it, the property shows up here, and then I can just double click and then uh, write in, you know, uh, let's see, TA453 uh, TA alias reported by proof point. Um, I can just go write a little description here and hit enter and populate that property. So that's something that you can do if you come across any sort of uh, later data that you'd like to add to your node. Um, you can just easily go and populate those. And so from here, um, if I want to go and I can merge my data down into um, my underlying production view, I can do, go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to go and move on and I'm going to show you how to upload a file. Um, so I'm going to go and delete this, and we'll just fork another view. Just add file and fork, and I'm just going to clear uh, clear my research tool. Here. So the last thing that I'll show you today is how to upload a file to Synapse. Uh, let's say that I have a malware sample that I want to have represented within Synapse, and I want to store the bytes with an axon. I can go ahead and use the upload file option right here. I can go ahead and click on this, go to upload file. Uh, so I can go and I can select a file. Um, I'll skip over all my things. So let's say that this, uh, this executable I want to go ahead and upload, I can select it, um, add that there. Um, I can have the option to toggle the file parser on or off. In this case, I would like the file parser to go through and parse the metadata of this file. Um, because when it does that, it will populate some of those file bytes properties for me. Um, so I have that toggled to on, and I can go ahead and submit that file. And it submits, it runs the file parser. So that file parser is going out and populating all those properties. And I can see that it created um, 100 edits on 27 nodes. So here I have the file that I uploaded uh, represented as a file bytes node. Because I used the file parser, it went through and it parsed out all the metadata from that file. Um, and it populated all the different properties for me. So I can see uh, the MIME type, the compile time, the import hash, um, the size, things like that. Uh, so from here, I might decide that I want to go and um, maybe run some additional enrichments, uh, querying those different Synapse power ups to pull in additional data. Maybe I want to apply some tags, um, or maybe I just want to go ahead and merge this down into the underlying production uh, layer, which I can go ahead and do. 
So just to summarize what we've done in this video, we've gone through um, ways to add some common tactical indicators through the auto add and lookup modes, um, which you can access through the storm query bar. We also talked about using the add node dialog or input form to create those uh, one-off nodes. Um, that one's helpful because you can create any, any object within Synapse and it will walk you through the different properties and tell you which ones uh, are required to populate. Uh, we also talked about how to upload and parse a file within Synapse. Um, there are multiple other ways to add data. We will note some of them in the, uh, the description for this video and give you links so that you can go and check out those other content. Um, in each of these cases, I forked a view before uh, adding the nodes that I was using for the example. Um, we suggest doing that in your cases just so that you can make sure that you verify the data um, before moving it down into your production level and just so that you have the opportunity to make sure that uh, you've modeled it the way that you want and everything is represented uh, how you would like it to be.